Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's vlog. Scarlett is currently looking at her books right now. Hey, what are you reading? Macca the Alpaca? Is that Macca? No. Yeah, the llamas. They're no. fighting, huh? No. Yeah. What do you want to do today? Hmm? You want to go outside? Uh-uh. Yeah? Oh, Allie, hi. You just came in from outside. And why is your whole face wet? What did you do? What were you rolling in? <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think we're gonna go pretty much do what we did yesterday. Walk around the front and then probably play in the backyard for a little bit. Now, I'm surprised she's not, like, running to the door right now. You really love that book, huh? No, no. Yes, Macca. No. And that's Harmer. No, no. Harmer. Harmer the Llama. No. This morning she kept wanting to put her sunglasses on. Well, she wanted to wear those purple glasses that are too big for her. And every time like I'll put them on, she'll start walking and then they fall off. And she like gets so upset. So I was like, let's put your sunglasses on because those are made for your size. So I put them on her and she was like walking around for like a good 20 minutes. Um, I got a Snapchat of her. Bouncing on her dog wearing them, so I'll put that here. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was just the funniest thing. It's like, she's just like a complete mood. Like, she's just having so much nah, fun bouncing. Nah, nah. Yeah. I tried putting her in her stroller and she cried. I tried putting her in her buggy, she cried. And now, all she wants to do is just push her stroller in her buggy. We've already got the buggy in the driveway, now she's putting the stroller. <laughs> How is this fun? <laughs> I don't understand. Me and Ken were talking last night. We think we're going to just take out one of her walkers because it's obviously making her happy. She just wants to push everything herself. So I think later tonight we'll do that. I should have did it now actually, but I didn't really expect her to not want to sit in anything. You just like pushing things, huh? And you crash into Grandma's car again. Be careful. There you go. So you really don't want to sit in it. This is all we're going to do. Let's just go back and forth to the garage in the driveway. <laughs> <laughs> well, after pushing the stroller and the buggy back a thousand times, we've made our way to the backyard. She did just dump some water on herself. As you can tell by her shirt, probably. Yep. Wow. So much for wearing that shirt. <laughs> it might dry though, it's pretty warm out. You gonna play with the sand? We gotta buy you some more sand. I can't believe how empty you've made that. I was looking at a picture from like April when we first set it up and it was so much fuller. Where are you going? Hey. What? I, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's so hard to understand what she wants. Well now she's going after the penguin. Yeah, it's a penguin. I'm so proud of you, Scarlett. You climbed up the slide and sat down on your own. Usually she gets stuck with sitting. You did it. You can slide now. You gonna slide? You might get stuck because you're a little wet. You can do it. Go ahead. You gotta shimmy over more. There you go. Yay! Good job. So we just had lunch and then I decided that I'm gonna just start like with the mopping and everything. So I'm doing Scarlett's room first. So I'm in there, you know, doing my thing. I have the gate up because I obviously I can't have her walking around when I'm trying to mop it. And then I turn around and she's walking around with this goo go on spray. And I'm like, what? How did you even get that? Because that's under the sink with like all our other cleaning stuff. And it's definitely baby locked. Like, see, just, just to show you, right? And I shut it because she was right next to me and I made sure it was shut. And then I'm like, how did you do that? And she comes back over here, and she opens this, and then just shoves her hand in here like this. So, I guess I have to move the cleaning stuff, like, further back, because that scared the crap out of me. I was like, oh my god, like, what do you have? Like, thankfully she didn't spray it, or, like, put it in her mouth or anything, but Jesus. Scarlett, you're too smart. How are you this smart? Like, how are you figuring this stuff out? <laughs> She's like, whatever, Mom, I'm looking at a Santa Claus book. Okay, I just finished mopping the entire house. I'm not going to show myself because I am a sweaty mess as always. I have the gate up so Allie is on that side because I started over there. Um, Ken should be home any minute so he's going to have to stay on that side until this dries. But I'm so happy I got this done because it was a struggle like to get the energy to do it. So 
Yeah. Now I'm gonna try to chill and not pass out here. So in the essence of busting each other's chops, Marissa said, I don't wanna hear that you're not hungry for dinner later because this is what I'm gonna eat right now. Leftover ham. Then I told her, I don't wanna hear that the floor is dirty. <laughs> because we know Allie's gonna screw this up in like 10 minutes. So she walked in the house, fur fell off of her. You, you got I fur mean... flying off of you, you fur ball thing. This is way too much ham for me, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Yeah, why don't you just get a little bit? Go big or go home. Yeah, but you could have some tomorrow instead. No, I don't want any ham tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Oh my god. No, tomorrow's Wednesday. What day is today? Today is Tuesday. That's an early alarm. No, it's a late alarm. This it's is very late. Yeah, it's very late. I do at 2.55. Yeah, you're right. I don't know why I was thinking 4 o'clock. Birth control. So we had two old ranges uh, like that that were just outside. Can you just be normal and say a stove? It's a, it's a stove. It's a cooktop oven. <laughs> two of them. We had two of them outside that we were trying to get rid of for a while. And today we were like, all right, let's move them. And I get mine over to where the trash is. And Marissa's literally just spinning hers in circles. I wish we were filming that. Like we, I, couldn't, I was moving it though. I just It just kept going in a circle as I moved it. If that, makes, if that makes sense at all. We don't have a hand truck because her, her stepdad took it for some reason. George. George. It's all right. I mean, most people don't have a hand truck anyway. That's true. But we used to. We should invest in a hand truck. No, we'll just go there and demand it. Okay, we can. let's demand the hand truck that the moving company left here by mistake when we moved into this house. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's demand something that's not ours from someone who took it from people who don't own it. Let's do that. <laughs> I had high hopes of showing you guys how good she is with the with the fork, but now she's just kind of playing with it. She's pretending she doesn't know how to use it. I don't know why she's doing this because she knows how to do this. Like she knows what a fork does, but now it's just playtime with the fork. Scarlet, can you eat? Show daddy how to pick up food. Show daddy. Show daddy. Do it. No, I'm not gonna do it. You do it. If she you notice, yeah. If you, we're just gonna say the same oh, thing. Yeah. Huh? If you notice that <laughs> under her eyes are all red, it's because she spent the last hour crying because food wasn't ready for her. That and um, she took a really short nap. Are you okay? Why are you? Hello. Hi. Welcome back to Earth. <laughs> yes, that's dog food. You can't have that. That's Allie's. You are fascinated with everything your mother does. Most of the dog, too. Alright, now show us how to use the fork. Nah, you might have to come back. She's gonna watch Allie eat the whole entire time. Which, it won't be long, you know. Yeah, Allie will be done eating in about 10 seconds. There you go. Almost. Almost. No, you're doing it wrong. You know... Really? No, you hold it at the end. Just like that. And then you just go over here and you just stab it. Okay? You, you just stab it. Get too focused on the dog. No, I'm not doing it. You do it. You know how to do it. There you go. Good job. See? I knew you knew how to do it. Finally. I think we need to throw you a party now. That took two minutes. Two minutes to get you to show them how to do that. Scarlet, can I get a fist bump? Yeah. So Scarlet walked up the hill and then sat down and threw a tantrum. Well, because she doesn't want our, our hands. She doesn't want to hold hands. Well, she doesn't want to hold hands because she wants to run into other people's yards. She's... All right. So we're going to Yeah, we're going to demonstrate. Come on. You're gonna run into somebody's yard? She's like, no, I want to go in their yard. Yeah, I'm a good baby. <laughs> no, she's not. So we're looking for the cat. It's the only way to go for the walk. I think she's already forgotten about that. We're still looking for the cat. Yeah, where is he? Find him. Yeah. Find the kitty, kitty. No, he's not over there. That's that's a house. <laughs> Come on, we gotta keep looking. He's quick. He's always moving around. If you see a bunny too, let us know. 
<laughs> that was a very, very close kitty kitty. So I wanted to continue walking, but as you can see, I did bring the walker out and, well, she was really happy pushing it around, but now she's found her love for flowers again. Sometimes you just gotta stop and smell. She's not smelling, she's just picking and then putting back and thinking she's doing a good job. <laughs> she's cleaning up. Yeah. <laughs> Are you pruning? Pruning? Isn't it preening? Pruning. No, that's a bird. Pr pruning, preening. You need to get out of the house more often. Uh, this is the most I get out. You really do. You need, like, a social <laughs> gathering of, you, like... I know. You know Help me, guys. Dogs. Bring me out. Can you push your walker again? Where are you going? But she just like aggressively grabs it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. This is gonna be the new thing, I guess. I mean, she kept pushing her buggy, of course, but it's hard to like maneuver for her size. So I wish she would just let us push her in it, but I think that's the end of that, huh? We'll see. Maybe she'll get sick of doing this. Like now. So ragu stains. For anyone wondering, the pasta sauce ragu. Any other sauce we've used doesn't really stain that bad, except for the Gerber baby meals. If I wasn't um, trying to clean her up, I would have saw that and then told you to put OxyClean on it. I didn't realize it. Well, I didn't. I didn't think it would stain that bad. Like yeah. even her, the, the like the top that's over there is like all stained mm. now. That's right. cer Certain sauces will stain and certain ones won't. So now we know not to let her make a mess with ragu. But anyway, we're gonna end today's vlog. If you like the video, thumb it up. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We do this every single day. Um, Why do you keep showing straps? The, 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 We're washing the, the high chair cover, by the way. There's straps. It's disgusting. Yeah, if you need to see how to do this, if you need like a walkthrough on how to clean your, your high chair, I ain't doing it. I'll show you how, and it won't come clean. But believe me, it's clean. It smells like drift. It's so nice. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>